Hello folks, welcome to Legacy IAS Academy. In today's video, we'll be discussing a current affair topic presented to you by your faculty, Sushma KP. I have a bad throat, so bear with me until the end of the video. Alright, so what is the topic that we will be discussing today? Indian scientists develop hypersonic Brahmastra missile with a speed of 12,000 kilometers per hour. Now we can think, huh, so what, they have developed a new missile. No, there is very much important significance associated with this. What it is, is what we will be seeing in the course of the video. In this video, we will be seeing as to why is it in this, what is the relevance of it to UPSC, that is your GS paper 3. We will also be discussing about your Brahmastra missile. We will compare it with China and how US is doing. At the same point of time, we will be discussing about the significance of hypersonic missile. And then we will see what hypersonic missile means and how it can be a game changer for India, especially in the Indian Ocean region. All right, let's get this topic started. Look at this. Indian scientists have developed a modern day Brahmastra with an astonishing speed of 12,144 kilometers. Now, before we begin the video, we have a small announcement from Legacy IAS. For anyone who is taking up UPSC prelims 2025, we have curated a current affair compilation strictly from prelims perspective. Any of you who want to benefit from that, do check out this. We also have Impact 2025 program, which is extensively mains answer writing and content writing. How do you pick the content? What kind of contents can you add to your mains? So that will be dealing with your Impact 2025. The link for both these will be provided in the description box below. Those of you who feel it is important, do check it out. Right now, coming back to the video. As usual, I will tell it to you like a story. You listen to it like a story. If you have seen your uh, old mythological movies, you know, Ramayan, Mahabharata, etc. If you see the weapons or the kind of portrayal wherein in a blink of eye a person can disappear here and be present somewhere else. There will be a lot of demons. There will be good. Constant portrayal of good over evil is major thematics. And also, if you see, they will give this Brahmastra, okay, or a weapon, which they will target it at the enemy, and within this fraction of a second, it will go hit them and kill them. Yeah, so this concept of Brahmastra, if you break it down, Brahma plus Astra, Brahmastra, which means it is a weapon of mastery, weapon which is precise, very powerful. Okay, that is what our mythology says about your Brahmastra. Now, why are we telling that your DRDO, Defense Research and Development Organization, has come up with something called as Brahmastra? Or why are we telling that it is a Brahmastra? That is the course of the video. So, your DRDO has developed a long-range anti-ship missile or LRASHM, which is a hypersonic glide missile. We have a lot of missiles, so what is the importance of this one? Understand this missile that they have created, okay? Just for defective nature, we will keep it like this. This is the our Brahmastra or our hypersonic glide missile we are talking about. The way this is created or the effective means that it can work is why we are calling it Brahmastra and it is a game changer for us. I will explain it to you. Now let us say we have speed of sound. Okay. This particular missile or your LRASHM can travel at almost 10 to 12 marks that is 
10 to 12 times more than the speed of sound. So which is very precise, fast. What do I mean by this? I'll give you one uh, proper example. Further down also I'll explain that. Let's say the region presently that we are in now, your Indian Ocean region, we are surrounded one side by your Pakistan and one side by your China. Both are somewhere hostile to us. This point of time, let's say, Karachi port of Pakistan say, they have sent a nuclear warhead, which is targeted towards India. Now, with this missile from Mumbai, we can hit that nuclear warhead within four to five minutes or we can neutralize the threat understanding especially with growing presence of china in indian ocean region now for us at this point of time this is very very important and crucial yes so this is about your hypersonic glide missile or otherwise what we are nicknaming it as your brahmastra your brahmastra was successfully tested of your uh, dr apj abdul kalam island which is in the coast of your uh, odisha certain more features about your brahmastra is it is of a range of 1500 kilometers okay it can target the enemy ship or warship or neutralize it within three to four minutes for long range for bigger range within eight minutes depends on from where it is launched it can be deployed from both land as well as sea the speed of it is 10 mark that is 10 times the speed of sound initially in the theoretical stages uh, that is before deployment your experts had believed that yes our hypersonic missile will perform at five to six mark is what they believed understanding but in reality it flew at 10 marks which was very much astonishing to both your US as well as your China. In simpler terms, it can travel 3.37 kilometers in just one second. So what was once considered like mythology, now all of those are happening in a scientific level. Now, I said, this speed astonished both your USA and China. Does it mean India is the only one who has this or all the global players also have it? Your USA has, has very ambitious projects in development of these things, no doubt about that. Your China also has the same technology, that is your DF-17 missile, around 1000 kilometers it can go, that is 10 marks. But India's hypersonic missile has advanced technology such as cram, scramjet and glide technology. Further down, I'll tell you what those are. Alongside, it is heat resistant materials are used so that, understanding, heat resistant materials are used so that while flying, it doesn't become up into a big fireball. Another thing is, your experts are claiming that. India has purposefully understated its performance. That is, they are telling huh, 10 to 12 mark. But they are telling it has the range of up to 1,500 kilometers purposefully. They are underplaying it because of your strategic concerns. Okay. Another thing, if you see the heat, uh, the energy that your uh, hypersonic missiles uses is kinetic energy. Meaning what? It gains the momentum, it gains the force from your motion. Understanding? So we have this advanced technology of scramjet as well as glide technology added into it. Now the example that I told you in the beginning. Let's say a warhead was targeted from Karachi towards India. Assume. 
with this technology from our mumbai port we can neutralize this threat in just 3 to 4 minutes understanding so this is the importance that india needs it for its security purposes now we will see about your hypersonic missiles first of all what does your hypersonic missile which means more than the speed of the sound hypersonic which means more than the speed of sound at least how much more at least five times i'm telling at least at least five times the speed of sound if it is then it is called as hypersonic missile one advantage of your brahmastra whatever we are claiming it is its maneuverability if you look at other missiles you it will follow a intended path only but whereas with your hypersonic missiles we have maneuverability which means we can control the path we can control the movement another thing is we have scramjet engines which will sustain this hypersonic speeds look at this it has compression supersonic exhaust inlet body so this makes it ideal okay then we have your hypersonic glide vehicles and hypersonic cruise missiles understanding your hypersonic glide vehicles now this can be uh, launched from your uh, air also understanding and uh, they uh, fly at low altitudes which makes it difficult to come under your radar also next we'll see what are the advantages of your hypersonic missiles first and foremost they are long range strike options they use kinetic energy and because they fly at lower altitudes compared to your uh, ballistic missiles it becomes it more half has a stealth mode we can tell because it doesn't uh, come under constantly under your radar also another thing with your hypersonic missiles is it can hit the target at the same point of time it can hit the underground facilities also for example, your terror rings, underground facilities, if at all they want to charge that, it also hits that. Okay, we've reached the end of content. If you like our content, subscribe to our channel, hit the like button and share it along with your friends. Thank you.